Good day, folks. Heading into the dump site. Thought I'd do a little explore. I haven't really explored down through this area yet. Anyways, I found a patch of glass here by this tree down in around the roots of it. I just popped this here piece out. It looks like a glass lid to something. It's got a patent date on it. December 29th, 1896, I think it says. This is Columbia across the center of it. It's all together. It does look like some sort of lid. Here, I'm going to take it and clean it up. And I'll get you back up on the next good find if I find anything. Over and out. A bit crispy here this morning, folks. But I just come up through that way. I'm not far from where I was digging under that root of the tree. I see a bottle right over there. See if you can see it. It's hard to see in these leaves, but looks to me to be manganese glass. See that right in the center of the screen. Let's go pick it up and check it out. Doesn't look to be anything spectacular from here, but it is manganese glass. Okay, so it's just like a some sort of food jar. But I'll definitely keep that. That's starting to turn a real nice amethyst color. Yep, it's a nice little find for being right on the surface. Pre-1915. All right, let's keep going. Well, trying to dig in under those roots there, folks. I'm right down in some can, rusty can layer, and it might even be a burn layer. I just popped up this Charles H. Fletcher Castoria uh, panel side bottle. It's a screw top. Nothing really exciting. But I thought I'd show it anyways. All right, let's keep going. Some of my leftover pines from last year, folks. I think I'll take those blue ones today. Start stocking up on those again. Don't see much else here, Ventures. There's an ink. Waterman's. Okay, I'll let you go for now and get you back up in a bit. The next find right in the hole there, folks. Let's get it with the shovel. Yep, that's what I thought. That looks to be in good condition. Check it out. A baby bottle. I haven't found one of these in a while. It's a Rego Improved Nurser. It's pretty rusty. Hopefully it cleans up. Lots of embossing on it. 1926. Patented 1922. Design registered 1926. All right, there we go. Okay, next find, folks. Is there a little amber vial just popped out? It's not embossed, but it's a nice little find. Looks like 1937, perhaps. Yep. Yep. 1937. There we go. I'll find a whole lot here for like real old bottles, but. There's uh, a few little shards come out. Might pick up a couple late throwaways or something, but for the most part, they just seem to be 30s. Hey, right, let's keep scraping. Okay, I got another find, folks. Looks like a piece of stoneware. I can see there is a chip off the lip, it looks like, but I'm not sure what it exactly it is. Okay, some sort of plant pot maybe or 100% sure on that one. 
got something stuck in the inside of it there. I can see the lips chipped right there. Alright, I'll take it anyways. Another find, folks. Uh, cork top. Looks like it's just a med. Well, it is embossed. Those cork top Raleigh's. Yeah. All right, well, I'll keep it. I like cork top bottles. Look at that picture. Next line, folks. A.S. Hines Honey and Almond Cream. It's a screw top. Probably from the late 20s. That one's full of water. These things are famous for the lid stain on them. I don't know why. Woods are made pretty good on them. Okay. Well, I'll keep going and see if we can get a couple more finds out here before taking off. And we got another one, folks. Check it out. It's a screw top. It's embossed on the face here. I don't know what that says. Doesn't seem to make much sense to me. It looks like there's a Z in it. Embossed on the edges here, too. Pertison, I think it is. Yeah, Pertison. I think that was a cough syrup or something. That was a nice embossed bottle. I'll probably keep it. I just got into a little pocket here, folks. Thought I'd get you up real quick. Popped out that octagon Noxzema. Pulled out this one. I have one of those snap-on lids, but it's a ball jar. First time I've ever seen one of those. A little cork top. Slicker. But this one here just come out. That's a nice, nice one. It's a penciler. I found a small version of this not too long ago. Oh no, it's cracked. Check it out. It's all cracked. Frag, that would have been a nice find. I might keep it anyways. Oh, well, maybe not. Crappy. That sucks. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> Good day folks, welcome to the recap portion of the video. Uh, I went back to a site that I was at last year and got several videos out of it, so I thought I'd go back and try my luck again this year. Um, I've been looking around, I've been having bad luck, really I haven't found any good spots. A couple that turned out just to be stuff from the 50s for the most part. Uh, the other day I was going through the bushes and I nearly stepped right on one of them timber doodles. And uh, it was about six feet in Six, six feet ahead of me. <laughs> and the thing didn't move. It just sat there and stared at me with them beady little eyes like, uh, What's up, dude? Are you one of us? <laughs> Anyways, I got footage of that. That'll be in, the, in an upcoming video. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we got nine uh, cobalt blues here. Some of these were from last year that I had sitting on the uh, bank that I decided to grab. Uh, the other day and uh, start stocking back up on them what do you get here I got five of these octagon Noxzema bottles I like these octagon ones I got two large ones and three small ones yep yeah. beauties and then uh, this Rego baby bottle which I would say is quite likely the best find of the dig Strong, easy to clean. It's a Rigo, R I G O, improved nurser. Usually, anytime I find these, a uh, lip is chipped off on it or something. This one seems to be in perfect condition. The nipple will not collapse. And if we can see up here, see if we can get focused on it a little better. It is 19, patent at 1922, and design registered 1926. 
So, sometime after 1926, it was definitely an oldie. Well, got this nice uh, manganese glass food jar. Got a little bit of haze in it, as you can probably tell. But it's turning a lovely purple color. We got the Partisan cough syrup bottle. Screw top, I put a cap on it. Embossed on the face and both edges. Partisan. It's a nice bottle actually. It's a nice shape. The back here has got a little bit of a unique shape to it. Or actually, I guess that would be the front of it. And then we got a lovely Raleigh's bottle with a little bit of a bluish hue to it. It's a cork top. Machine made. And it's a Pierce glass. That's that P in the circle there. And for some reason, anytime I find a bottle with that as the maker's mark on the base, it has those uh, lovely blue color to it. Next, we just have this neat little shaped amber bottle. Nothing real special about it, but I thought it was a nice looking bottle. And it's uh, 1937. 1937. Nice shaped bottle. Yep. A Heinz honey and almond cream bottle. Probably once again from the 20s or 30s. The old common Lysol bottle, the cork, cork top one. This little vial style bottle. That's a 1937 as well. This is uh, probably the oldest item of the dig. It's a Columbia uh, closure, like a jar closure. It's December. Boy, that's hard to read. Let me see. December 29th, I think. December 29th. Eighteen ninety-six. This would actually go this way on top of the bottle, and then you see these here are. Uh, see how that's tapered like that. You'd turn it so the uh, the wire closure tightens up on it as you turn it. And then we just have this little. Almost slicker. It's a made in USA bottle, cork top. And then we have some odds and ends here. This piece of glass. That would have been nice. That's as black as the Ace of Spades. And I've held it up to the light and I cannot get any light to shine through it. This little blown milk glass cork top piece. That would have been nice if it was whole. This little cup or whatever it is, got that chip out of it. That had hardened paint in it. That's what that was if you watch the video. Seen that. And next is this Kellogg's cereal bowl. Now this is uranium glass. So this is going to be from the 30s or the 40s. I'll just give you a quick little demonstration. Just give me a second, I'll turn. Oh, wait, before we do that, I'll also show you. This moon's emerald oil. You can see how that's green. Okay. We've got two different greens there. Quick little demonstration. Got the black light. Here's the uranium glass. You can see how that glows. Alright. And here is the moon's emerald oil. And you can see even though it's green, it does not glow. It just kind of shines purplish like the black light does. Alright, so that's what your 
That's what your your uranium glass is going to look like under a black light. It's going to glow. Without the black light, it's just kind of like a lime green color. So that's going to be it, folks. Let me get the lights back on here. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay healthy. I hear something you don't hear every day.